Hello, everybody, and welcome to Backpack Battles. I'm Heron Steinbear, and we've got another patch out. We're up to version 0 0.7.0, getting closer and closer to 1.0 every day. Today, they have added a brand new item library, so you can search up every item in the game, which is pretty cool. New recipe for burning coal, new recipe for torch, new recipe for a burning torch, which is just a modification of the torch, and a new unique item, the Artifact Stone Heat. So that is the uh, reverse of the Artifact Stone Cold that we currently already have in the game. They've also reworked Potion Belt, so now it cleanses debuffs and removes buffs and or removes buffs from the opponent. Poison Ivy no longer applies plus five when reaching the threshold. I think that's an essential change. Also lowers the damage bonus from Poison Ivy when reaching that threshold. They made Amethyst a little bit more consistent, nerfed the stone skin potion, which I think was a definitely needed nerf, and changed the heat threshold for Ruby Chonk from 10 to 15 because the coal, the burning coal and the torch and the burning torch add heat now more often, which is a buff that allows your items to activate quicker. Uh, we'll just take a quick look here at the item library just so you can see what it looks like before we move into the game so yeah you can search by just ranger just reaper neutral for both uh i don't know what compact changes uh oh it just kind of smooshes it all together i don't i think i like uh comp well seems like they got that reversed right like that feels more compact than that i guess not Anyway, uh, and then obviously you can include class items here, include the unique shop items all down here. So here's the artifact stone heat that was added. Works, ooh, actually, uh, it's a little bit better than cold. When you reach 15 heat, starred weapons gain plus 10 damage. Uh, but you know what? This does not give have your weapons give heat either. So you just get the three but still plus 10 damage, that seems pretty strong. Uh, and then adding crafted items in as well. I don't know, does it do even items you have not crafted yet? Let's go Reaper only, yeah. So I haven't crafted the Rainbow Group at Omega Ooze Prime Slime with the Reaper, but here it is. Uh, it does not show you the recipe for it. So that is something to keep in mind there. But yeah, let's jump right into Reaper. It's a little bit easier to make the new items with Reaper, I think, because she has access. Uh, so this is how you make the torch, by the way. Uh, wooden sword plus lump of coal makes a torch. Uh, but then once you have the torch or if you have the coal already to turn it into the burning torch or the burning coal, you just need to apply fire to it somehow. So uh, those ways being like the Charizard card that Reaper has access to, or the Ruby Whelp can apply fire, obviously, because it's a dragon. Uh, if you have a burning torch or a burning coal, that can also apply fire. So uh, you can have one burning torch create the next burning torch, and so on and so forth. You can actually put a lump of coal into the burning, or into the torch right there as another little buff for it. But as you see, the torch here, it starts out as two to three damage, not so much, just like a wooden sword. 0.7 stamina cost, 90% accuracy, 1.4% cooldown, nothing too exciting there. But it does get 30% chance to gain one damage on attack. Obviously, Reap or Ranger has the opportunity to point some lucky piggies at it and get that number higher. I think I want to do, I want to do a. Uh, ranger run where I just see how high I can get that torch damage which with a bunch of lucky piggies I mean if you're attacking if you're getting one damage every 1.4 that seems could be pretty quick especially if you can get some heat going and, and get that activating a little bit quicker there uh, but yeah we'll keep it going here uh, going into round two Forgot what round we were on already. I'm not going to waste that extra gold on the reroll. We'll just jump right in. Here we go. This ranger's making a couple torches here. 
I did one run just to kind of get a sense of what these items were before starting this video. And towards like round eight, nine, ten, everybody's bags were just full of torches. So definitely the new favorite thing for people with the potion belt nerf. Uh, it has kind of eliminated the potion bombs for better or worse, you know, depending on your opinion on that situation. Uh, you know, it's it's nice not to go up against potion bombs and not to almost be required to use potion bombs, but it's also, uh, you know, they were they were fun to use as well. So it'll be they will be sorely missed. But, uh, you know, we'll have to see how this heat situation kind of changes the game. Uh, I think that making it easier for Reaper to start out doing the burning stuff is cool. I think that's a cool kind of consideration. Uh, but that being said, you know, it, uh, throw that, throw that like that. Um, and, uh, Items activating faster, I think, benefits Reaper more because generally the Reaper items use stamina. So if you're activating your items too quickly, then you're going to run out of stamina. Whereas with Reaper, if you can get a bunch of your stuff in the uh, in the coffin here, then you are going to have that much well i guess that doesn't really change anything i was gonna say i could move I'll just put that there and that there okay just trying to get more stuff in the coffin uh but again if you're activating things quicker then you know you're getting more chances with the coffin to inflict poison so i do think the Ranger gets some extra benefit. How much that is, is debatable. Uh, we'll have to see that in actual practice as the meta shifts and adjusts yet again. Uh, and the meta is in a little bit of a uh, rough spot right now, but they did say, you know, a couple updates ago that they expected it to be a little, a little rough for a while as they were making some adjustments and experimenting with some stuff. But like I said, we'll just have to, have to wait and see how things progress. Hopefully, hopefully they get it under control. I think they will. Um, you know, with a lot of these indie development studios, you kind of got to give them the benefit of the doubt a little bit. They're not, you know, they're not working with unlimited funds. They not they don't have huge hundred person teams working under them to to test all this stuff before we see it. We are their beta testers. This is. This is why we play a game like this. So yeah, you just gotta keep that in mind, keep that in perspective. Yeah, so there we go. Uh, actually, the ruby egg can apparently light the torch on fire. So pretty cool there. And guess we'll get started. This isn't the greatest build. I kind of was just like rushing through to get to this burning torch. And we may have even uh, screwed ourselves over on that if uh tim here decides to kick our ass but i think we're okay yeah we're good all right so yeah here we go we can check out the burning torch the coal gets knocked out but yeah we can just go ahead and, and make that burning coal so the burning torch oh you know what i wonder if i could have lit two on fire at once with the same item that's an interesting thought anyway the burning torch start a battle you get three on chance 30 percent to gain one damage just like normal but if you have at least 15 heat, you gain two damage instead. So that I think is a makes a big difference in the effectiveness of it. Um, again, I mean, if you can get a ranger up to 15 heat pretty quickly, have a couple lucky piggies pointing at this, where then it's like a 50 or 60 percent gain, and you're gaining two damage per turn. Uh, I think eventually I could see here's the cards because uh, I would love to get a ruby chunk. That would be freaking ideal. Um, but if you 
Uh, I think eventually they're going to probably decide that they're going to want to uh, buff the burning torch a little bit. I think maybe it needs a little bit more damage. But like I ha like I said, I have seen and you know towards some of the later rounds, people are using you know five of them in a bag and they're all going off in three quarters of a second. Uh, and you know when you're attacking that quickly, thirty percent is a lot. So if you're attacking uh, three times every two seconds, then chances are you're getting one extra damage every couple seconds. So yeah, there we go. We got the burning coal. So as you can see, it's it acts like a gem where it's got three different effects depending on where it is in the bag. So on hit, 15% chance to deal plus five damage and gain a heat. Start of battle, gain 12. If it's an armor, start of battle, you gain 12 armor and resist three frost, which is cool. Uh, or if it's just in the backpack, after three seconds, you gain two heat and cleanse two debuffs. So, you know, I think... Uh, the strongest effect there is probably the on hit. Um, it doesn't, it deals plus five. It doesn't gain plus five. Like the uh, burning torch gives you gain plus five. But I think with something like the burning torch that attacks so much, it's going to be a big deal. And especially, you know, pairing a bunch of burning torches with nocturnal lock lifter or something like that, that gives you some life steal. I think could be a really interesting uh, variation here as well. So I do think people are going to be coming up. Here's the new potion belt. Uh, but I do think people are going to be coming up with some really cool burning builds uh, that we'll be seeing in the near future. But potion belt now, uh, if two potions inside it are consumed, you gain a random buff. I don't really love that effect. There are a lot of buffs in this game and gaining one of any one of those isn't going to do much for you. Gaining one mana doesn't really do anything. Gaining one spike, who cares? You know, um, gaining one heat. If you don't have other heat, who cares? Um, generally with your buffs, you need to be more, what's the word, more purposeful than that. Um, so I don't, yeah, I don't love the new potion belt. It's nice as a four slot bag still, I guess. Um, but it's, uh, yeah, especially when like Ruby Welp reflects two, but two debuffs. So, you know, to me that cleanse three debuffs even is, uh, it should be more. Um, you combine it, you compare that to like the carrot, which cleanses debuffs. Or I think there's a gem that cleanses debuffs as well. I could be misremembering. But any of those, like, I mean, I don't know. It just seems like a... Uh, seems like a weird decision. I don't I don't like the, the potion belt change. So we'll see where they go with that. I think they'll probably make some more changes to potion belt. I mean, we can hope anyway. I don't see why they would keep it like that. It seems like a weird thing to kind of be a stickler about but yeah here we go we're up to six heat uh this doesn't does this continue to give heat yeah 15 percent chance to get one heat so i mean we got up to six we got two there we got three there so really we only gained one over the course of the fight but that six heat move this down to 1.25 move this down under two seconds under 1.8 seconds there but then also sped up all our food so uh you know our blueberry is going off in 2.4 and because we had it on the pandemonium that increases blah 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 so you know i think that heat is a much stronger effect than anybody gives it credit for yet uh we haven't seen it much in the meta and i think that it's gonna do some really silly things as we go forward in the meta uh, so yeah, we'll have to definitely be keeping our eye out on that and how that affects things because I think, uh, I don't think any of us really know just how strong that's going to end up being, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, I think maybe I do that instead. And then the Ruby whelp can get a little bit of love from the nocturnal lock lifter as well. That stays right there. The garlic will go off a little bit slower. Oh, you know what? 
Should have that blueberry there instead. Uh, and, but then, yeah, that's still, that doesn't do what I need it to do then. I mean, that would be great, honestly, because then that speeds up that and that. I guess this was doing that same thing though, huh? Because then that's touching two. So yeah, maybe I just stick with, uh, no, because I want the, I want the torch there. Uh, I do have that bag saved. It could be nice to even do just like this. Hmm. All right, we'll leave it like that for now. Like I said, we got that this leather bag saved. So we'll grab that next time. Assuming there is a next time. I mean, Thorn Whip plus Tusk Piercer is kind of a... A trap, I think. I think they they kind of counter each other since Tusk Piercer uses up your your uh, spikes. So yeah, there we go, and slap that right there. Probably gonna end up selling that pig, but I want to see. I'd love to get yeah yeah that's good. That's real good, and we can even buy that. There we go. And what do I want to do? What do I want to put in this spot here? Um, shouldn't have re-rolled there. I mean, I guess I'll take a genie lamp because why the hell not? We do get spikes from our aces. Um, and so we can kind of kind of work with that a little bit. Uh, come on. Burning torch, give us that heat, baby. We need that heat. Ooh. All right. Well, I mean, no shame in losing to a Bloodthorn build, but you know, it is what it is. Hello, everybody, and thank you so much for watching the video today. If you haven't already subscribed, please go ahead and do so. We're trying to hit a thousand subscribers and we're getting closer every day. We can't do it without your help. If you'd like to help the channel more directly, you can join a YouTube membership by clicking the link in the description, getting access to the member exclusive discord, early access to videos, and a shout out in every video like Jacob Burns. Thank you so much, Jacob, for your continued support. I'll let you get back to the video and I hope you're all having a great rest of your day. See ya. I, I want to try Reaper one more time, going for some more uh, coal builds. We'll do shovel because shovel should get us lots of coal. There's a coal. Uh, we can make that torch right quick and uh, start working towards that and see what we can see what kind of build we can make with this on Reaper because I really do think it's got a lot of potential in a Reaper's bag. There we go, medium usage, that's great. Uh, we can buy that and that to get us some more stamina just in case. And what are we looking for here now? I'd love a box of riches. Uh, there's another coal, let's hold on to that. I'd love a box of riches to go in here. Uh, we'll want probably want cards because I think we want to try and get a ruby chunk uh, down the line and we will need charizard uh most likely unless we get the egg first we'll need charizard to light up our torch for us and there we go grab that because we definitely want that torch uh going as quickly as we can get it to go the faster we can get it to attack the more chance it has to get that damage bonus uh, yeah, three to four. There's four to five. There's another win. Number two. Okay. Deck of cards. Uh, gave us the ace right off the bat. I would have loved to get the Charizard early. That would have been super cool. But, you know, it wasn't in the cards, so to speak. <laughs> uh, anyway, we'll just get... Oh, nope. There's that box of riches we were looking for. Ooh, almost missed that. Almost did not save the box of riches. All right, Butashio. I see you got your goob there. He's going to be helping you out quite a bit. Yeah, we're not winning this one. Definitely not winning that one against Goobert healing. That's for sure. Throw Sapphire out there. 
grab a box of riches. We can also grab a dagger, because why not? And grab that. That gets us spikes and regen. We can sell the sand, because we're not really doing anything with it anyway. Uh, this just removes... Yeah, so this the flawed amethyst is the other one that removes debuffs. Um, and so, yeah, I don't know... This does it every six seconds, which I realize is kind of slow. But what did the uh, the potion belt did three debuffs? I mean, I guess if you have like two of them stacked on each other, but then you also need four poison or potions in each of them. And I don't know. It seems like a lot to try and pull off just to just to cleanse three debuffs. There's other better ways to cleanse debuffs than that potion belt. So I do think that that'll need to be changed at some point. But we will just have to see, as I said. All right, grab that. We can then do that. And... Mm. Don't think I want to spend money on a sapphire at the moment. Uh, there's another box of riches, so that's pretty good. We'll hang on to that. Really need to get some form of fire so I can light this damn torch on fire. And uh, I would kind of expected to find more coal along the way as well. But so far, we did not. Uh, is this going to be enough to kill? It is not. Wow. Okay. All right, I see. Ooh. All right, I see you, game. Uh, well then, let's rework this a little bit here. That can go there, that goes there, and the artifact stone can light our stuff up for us. That's even better. Hell yes, okay. Throw that there, throw the banana in there, and throw that on that guy. See, like, what I'm imagining is I'm imagining like a gym only run with a bunch of topaz that's making our, uh, keeping our stamina full, getting us heat that way, getting, uh, I guess, like you need lump of coal and then you need to light it and then just have a bunch of uh random lumps of coal in the uh in the bag um need space before i buy that box of riches uh, i'll buy the stamina one save the uh fanny pack as well but uh yeah i think uh this should hopefully, I mean, we're going up against a crit staff, a crit wood staff build. Uh, yeah, that's not, not quite enough there. Already down to one heart. But you know what? We've lit our torch up. And now it's time to do that. We can probably do something more like that there. And... uh do something like that and ooh okay uh let's look at this then we can do that there throw a charizard up top and hmm Throw, throw one there, one there, and I can put the stone back up top. I uh, don't have any extra spots for a chipped emerald. I don't know. I don't know if we're going to get much farther on this one. Probably need to think through this build a little bit more. Uh, well, I mean, we got nine heat already. We start the fight out with nine heat. So that's pretty damn good if you ask me. Uh not start the fight, but once the, the Charizard goes off anyway, we're up to nine. Because uh, what? This gives us three. There's a burning coal. Yeah, that gives us three. That gives us three. This will give us two. So that's three, six, eight, 
and uh, 11 we're up to. That's uh, not too shabby. I mean, we really want to get to that 15 number. If we can be at 15 at the start of the match, I think we're sitting pretty. Um, but yeah, we are not there yet, unfortunately. I really need another Charizard. Another Hollow Fire Lizard would put us at that 15 number we're trying to get to. Uh, but we'll see. There's five. There's 11. I mean, all of our stuff should be going off way faster now. Do we get the win? Come on, we need to win this. Oh, you fuck. There's definitely a build here. We're going to work on it. Uh, you know what? Maybe what? How, how long has this video gone, gone on? We're only at 25 minutes. We can try again. I definitely think there's a uh, an interesting build there. I think, ooh. All right. I mean, that's almost a guaranteed win right there in round one to have the lover so early. It steals 11 life, and we only start with 25. So um, they do have a health potion, so that's something. Uh, but, yeah, I think... Uh, I think we got this one. There we go. All right. Take that. Do that. Get the extra armor from the White Eyes Blue Dragon. It's going to be a 17 armor and 11 point swing right at the top. And we have the region. We should get this win as well. There it is. Win number two. There's some coal for us and the frying pan we've been looking for. Probably grab that region as well. Get started there. All right. The father. We can go ahead and. Ooh. All right. You got me there. You got me on that one. The father. Got a shovel going. Perfect. Throw that in there and do that. There's that ace. We can move that up, put that there. So then we can put the white eyes blue dragon back in. We'll get started. Save that one gold for next round. And uh, yeah, hopefully I, I'd like to get a stone so we can make a torch. And then I would like to get more coal along the way as well. So hopefully we can pull that off also. There it is. Win number three. There's the wooden sword. Perfect. Sell the walrus tusk. Grab a stamina bag. Grab another mushroom for some extra poison. And do I work on another torch? had multiple torches I could get that uh huh I'll hang on to it maybe it's worth it maybe it is worth it to have multiple torches get it to that or multiple burning torches I should say to get it to that uh that 15 number that we're looking for because also if we can have burning or uh, uh, ruby chonk out there at 15 the Ruby Chonk gains the ability to stun enemies. <clears throat> Which, if you watch my video from yesterday, you'll know is a pretty freaking strong ability. Pretty freaking strong, if you ask me anyway. Uh, okay, I do like the thought of having that holy armor, especially with it being on sale. I think I will also do a little bit of that and speed up that mushroom there a little bit and i don't think i need the blueberry i'm gonna save my cash for the holy armor and uh hopefully find a charizard here soon that would be cool as well i see you got yourself a pumpkin there friend all right emir nagy i think we got him though i think we got him even with his pumpkin all right, cool. We can go ahead and buy our holy armor. 
do some re-rolls to get some more bag space going. Uh, let's see here. There's that. Uh, and might as well put that. Oh, you know what? I'll put it in the torch since the... Uh, mm, that doesn't really give us the space we need. We're going to need to wait another round to be able to fit that holy armor in. Uh, but yeah, the chipped or the torch goes off so quickly uh, that makes the chipped emerald that much better in it. We will speed up a little bit to get through this fight faster. I'm surprised. I mean, I guess they had the goobert going off. They had carrots cleansing them, stuff like that. So that is something to keep an eye out for. Lock lifter gets us some healing, some much needed healing. And let's see. Gloves of haste. I mean, yeah. You could put like two, a torch on either end of gloves of haste. That could be pretty good. Um, especially with them on sale. I think it's probably worth it. Go ahead and throw that in. Maybe I should do like something like that. And then I could do that. Don't have anywhere to put my shovel in this setup, which I don't like. So hopefully I can find another bag section. There's one. Hmm. Move, slide that over. Maybe, no, that doesn't really change anything for us, huh? Uh, does that do anything? Yeah, we can do that. That works like that, huh? I can't get my gloves on the torches, but that's okay. Still need a way to set them on fire as well. Uh, going up against Maho Beetles here. We are horribly, uh, horribly set on stamina, so that is definitely a problem. Uh, I don't. At this reason, I at this point, I only have shovels to try and get more coal. So maybe I get rid of that. I think that's probably a uh, good call, and then. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'll buy that and man, still nothing to set our, uh, still nothing to set our, there's a Charizard. There he is. I knew he had to be around here somewhere. All right. So that's five. That's six. Can I, can I do both of them at once? No, I cannot. Uh, but what I can do is something like that and then put that there. I guess that doesn't matter either way, really. Uh, and then speed that up some. Uh, ooh, wait, wait, wait. I should probably put that there and then speed up the dagger. That's probably a better call so that that's hitting all three of them. And we're getting a full amount of uh, life steal off of that nocturnal lock lifter. And there we go. Charizard went off. They used all their potions. Oh, no, they had one more. Shit. Oh, they got so much regen. Come on, take them out. Ah, oh, fuck me. All right, well, down to one heart. Uh, but our burning torch is lit. This shit is lit. Hmm. I think I definitely want more stamina going forward. Uh, I mean, cheap bag is cool. 
Three costs for four slots seems really good. But I'm not really using it for its intended purpose either. So I don't know. Don't know if this is the best uh, use of that, so to speak. Let's also turn this guy and then we can put that there and that there. Uh, that's going to light that. All right, let's get started and see where we end up here. Uh, Carrot Goobert with Falcon Blade and uh, and Fortuna's bow or Fortuna's grace is not a good look for us. But do we take him out? We might. Oh, no. They got. Yeah. Fucking A, man. How does this? Oh, I guess it scales with Empower, which they're getting from their carrots. Yeah. All right. Well, so much for that. Uh, maybe, uh, maybe the heat build wasn't in the cards for us tonight, but we will, uh, give it a shot at a later date and see what we can make happen. Uh, I do think there's potential here for something pretty nutty. Uh, and some may say, oh, but it's so RNG, uh, that, you know, that takes away from the fun of the game. I don't like, uh, I don't like the game being who can who can get the meta build the fastest. I don't like that. I like it being RNG. I want it to be RNG every time. And I'm okay with there being some games that I just lose because the other guy was luckier. I I prefer the game like that. I think it's more fun like that. I think it adds that level of excitement that I love in roguelikes. That's why I play roguelikes of maybe this is the run that uh that helps every that you know gets us over that bubble or gets us you know that insane build that we've been looking for um when runs are easily when builds are easily repeatable in games like this to me it makes it boring at that point just grab a calculator and and see how big you can make the number um because you know or or i i think maybe we need a third mode here I think that would it would settle a lot of the uh, complaints in the community that is just a non RNG mode where you can just almost like super auto pets works where, you know, the first three rounds, the shop tiers are all common and uncommons um, or common and rares, I should say. Then, you know, rounds five through eight are rares and uh epics and then rounds eight through 12 are epics and legendaries and above that is you know the full, full pool available um or something something along those lines that like takes the rng out of it for people so you can just like or maybe they just give you you know you just add up the amount of gold that you get given uh throughout an entire run and they just give you that much gold and you just make whatever build you want to make and see how long you can last against other people doing the same. Maybe that's the way to go to satisfy that group of people that don't want to rely on RNG in a game like this. But to me, RNG is what makes this game special. So let me know what you think in the comments, though. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please go ahead and hit that like button. If you enjoy content like this, go ahead and subscribe because I put out a new video every single day. And if you want to interact more with the Herrenstein Bear community, you can click the link down in the description to get access to our exclusive members-only Discord, access to uh, videos I don't post anywhere else, as well as early access to every single video I post and at our highest tier, a shout out in every one, every single one of my videos, like Jacob Burns. Thank you so much, Jacob, for your continued support. You're awesome. And to everybody else who's been watching the videos and liking and commenting and subscribing, you're amazing as well. So until next time, I hope you all.